this is a typical day of me having my own authority, uh, staying local, working out. What it is, what it was, what it is, what it does. It's your boy Link Trucker, back with it. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gonna have to make them believe us. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking out the time to watch the video. Um, if you're new to my channel, I talk about trucking, uh, fitness, fitness and health. Sometimes I get into a little boxing, maybe a little football, you know what I'm saying? Different kind of things like that. Uh, yeah, in this video I got, I'm gonna show clips I uh, did work out this morning. I'm gonna show uh, some clips of that. I'll keep it, you know, probably 60 seconds or less. You know what I mean? But you know, to give you a little motivation and just try to do a little something, that would be great for me. You know what I mean? Like if you can help somebody in any way, do so. And um, yeah, it's kind of surround those things. So if you're into this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. If you like these kind of videos, let me know if you like the video. Comment down below, like the video. Don't really quite work for you, but you think it help somebody else, share the videos out for me. Appreciate you, okay? sausage and just some shredded cheese on top that's it this is roughly give or take uh maybe like 400 calories something like that so it's a good meal you know what i'm saying all right let's have some real talk so you know i'm gonna speak on the other side of trucking uh some some of it get glorified some of it not so much, you know what I'm saying? I try to do, I try to be honest about both of, no, both sides of it or whatever. And um, so for this particular video, we're gonna talk about some of the destructive, the destructive side or a few things that's destructive that can wreck you in trucking, okay, in the trucking industry. So one of them, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, is family. Trucking can work, can wreck families because of you know, depending on what you're doing, you're gone a lot. Um, I've known people to leave two, three months at a time. Some, you know, three weeks, but they don't always work for people in their family, you know. Um, it's almost like a, uh, an athlete. You know, our athletes have uh, seasons, you know, football season where they're not as home as much. It's just different seasons where their spouses you know, or whatever, you know, relationships, they can, they can deal with it. The woman can deal with it. Or obviously, if the woman the athlete, the man can deal with it, however they do it. But it can really wreck a family because you're not, one person may not feel supported enough while the other one is gone. You know, not have enough time with your, um, if you have kids, not have enough time with them, you start to feel guilty about not being present, you know, to some of the things that are happening, not can't help with homework or whatever it may be. Also, within that, it could be destructive because that leads to your mental health. The mental health side of trucking 
I believe a lot of people leave out. I believe it's a worldwide issue. Like this is not industry specific mental health, but I know for a fact that the trucking industry mental health can, yeah, I mean, trucking is, is again, depending on how you run, it's not good for your mental health. Um, we have a lot of time to sit in our thoughts. Um, that can be good for some, it can be bad for others. You get lonely, you know, um, when your mind starts running, depending on how things are going in your life, the more your mind runs, the more stressed out you become. Uh, and then it's like there is no escape. You know what I mean? You can't really escape your thoughts when there's nothing to distract you. You are just rolling. You can try videos, podcasts, and things like that. They can help. You know what I mean? But if you're in a bad way, um, you know, feeling guilty, like I was saying earlier about not you know, being able to do some of the things that you want to do or you feel like you should be doing, it can definitely, you know, um, really hurt you on your mental health side. Mental health is very, very, very important. The way we look at things determine, you know, how we believe our day is going. Something can happen to you that could be bad. I don't want to say happen to you. Let's say it this way. Right now, I'm getting loaded, right? Let's say you was waiting two hours, two or three hours, and you feel like this is messing up your day. Well, the way you look at that and process that can determine, um, how, how it impacts your mental health. So I'm giving give an example. If you, if you chose to look at it as if we're doing this two to three hour delay, I was able to, you know, handle some of the other things that I needed to handle anyway. So you made that, you made use of that time uh, where you wasn't doing anything, regardless of what that was. On the flip side, if you look at it like what it was, as, as far as you just lost two or three hours and that's gonna wreck your, your day, that can sit with you. That can play your mind. Now you're saying, well, I thought I was going to be done with this today. I was going to get this money and that. And we all there you go. I'm going to give one more. I could actually give more, but I don't want to make this video too long. And I think the guys almost done load me. But we all know this one, and that's your health. Your physical, you know, your actual health. Um, trucking can be hard on it. You know, you can work long hours. Usually, if you're doing anything in trucking, you're going to work long hours. You know what I mean? So if you don't want to actually the job in the truck, even if you're local, you're still going to work. For the most part, you're going to work long hours if you're going to make any money for the money that you feel like you need to make. And um, obviously, the more you work, the less time you have to, um, you know, be active, work out. Just, you got to prioritize it though. Um, well, instead of getting deep into why you got to prioritize it, yeah, I'll just say this one thing that I'll move on because the point of just listing uh, can be destructive, not giving a solution right now <laughs> but um so you know one of the ways one of the things that uh we tend to do is we try to find the, the quick meal different things like that because we got to keep rolling we got to keep going the wheels ain't spinning we ain't earning so that mentality though unfortunately just can run you into the ground it can be destructive to, destructive on your mind and your body i mean Typically, too, because of long hours, we don't get a lot of sleep. You know, you're not getting sleep because we're trying to maximize the time. We're not, you know, we're not working. So, but yeah, it can be very destructive on your um, on your physical. So, you definitely have to um, um, prioritize it. I mean, you have to. I know we only got so much time in the day, but again, we all got to do a DOT physical every two years. If you fail it. All of a sudden, now you're out of a job. What you gonna do next? Okay. So, now I'm gonna get back in here. I'm gonna go strap this load. I'm gonna show y'all one more move. So far, I had that bowl that I had earlier. I had this coconut water. Got a lot of nutrients up in here. Like that back. And not too long ago, I had this little protein bar that I just used as a snack. Yeah, that's all I had. Like I said, that's all. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I had so far. I still got um, a couple things that I'm gonna show later in the video. Woo wee! All right, so this is what I got left. This is the second meal I had brought with me. Corn, beans, uh, ground turkey, cold cheese on the top. I got that. Um, that one was, uh, shoot, I think around 
around like 600 calories or so. Good bodybuilding meal. <laughs> I don't bodybuild no more. Uh, never really did. I consider myself, you know, when I first got in this uh, fitness journey, I used to watch a lot of YouTube about bodybuilding and stuff because I thought that was the way to go. Now I just work on just trying to stay in shape. We got a zero calorie root beer, diet root beer. And this, which I'm probably finna drink now, body armor. It says for superior hydration. After all, it's hot. It's like a, right now, I think it's like 98 degrees here. Oh, and I am finishing up drinking that gallon of water. Gotta stay hydrated out here. Uh, no question about that. And um, what I was gonna say, I kind of lost my train of thought. What I was gonna say about these things. Um, but yeah, gotta stay hydrated, uh, especially out here this summertime. Well, we're going to the summertime, so make sure you stay hydrated. And um, also, drinking more. I said this several times in my video, but I'm gonna say it again. Drink more water, lowers your appetite. Okay? So, I'm just hot. So, I'm just gonna drink some more. Be the end of the video, I would like to, well, I would say, I'm going to say that, my honest opinion, it is May 17th. This is not a good day. I'm sorry, a good time. To be getting trucking as far as own operator, own authority. Diesel prices are way too high. They're around $5 here, uh, here in uh, the DFW area, but they higher on the West Coast and other places. So, the bang for the buck, it's not not a really good deal there and um but if you just want to get to be uh the trucking side remember those things i said okay there's good things it's gonna be destructive all right i'll be safe out there again appreciate y'all for tuning in comment in lot comment down below if there's anything else you want to see I'm wearing down but i got one more keep it in mind stay on the grind one day at a time